Dolph Ziggler versus Rusev is the next match that we're talking about for the Night of Champions predictions. I'm tired of this fucking feud. I'm sure you guys are too. What's your one thing that you can take away from this feud that you think overall ended up being a positive? Because we've been talking shit about it for a long time. Let's try to make something positive out of this. If Summer there's anything, rack looks good. That does look good in that suit. Mm. Yeah, it does. There you go. There's your positive. I, you know, <laughs> funniest thing is I was going to say, I think that Lana looks better with the stupid hippie kind of look and that Summer Rae's been looking great and that's my only positive. Because <laughs> Ziggler's looking like shit. Rusev oh, yeah. is looking like a goddamn baby face. I think Rusev is the baby face, isn't he, in this entire thing? Oh, he absolutely is. He's not supposed to be, but he's a baby face for us. I mean, Dolph Ziggler's just being a fucking cat and stealing his fucking bird. Like, fuck off. Get your own bird. God. I used to have a friend like that. I used to steal people's skills. Stop being friends with Bulgarians. I would, but the Bulgarian bird that I'm friends with, she's kind of hot. She like Rusev? I have no idea. <laughs> Though, she's got a sexy ass tattoo. So we've been talking, of course, that you know, Rusev's a baby face here, that kind of a thing and all that, and a lot of people are speculating that there's a double turn, or that there's some kind of a Lana goes back with Rusev kind of thing. First off, would you want to see that? Second off, how do you think that they'd be able to pull that off if you do want to see that, Peyton? Oh, it's already in play. I mean, that, that's where this is going. They're they're making Dolph seem like the asshole because he's leading Summer Rae astray. And Rusev, you're, he's getting all the sympathy because he's the one who's getting cheated on. As is Lana. Poor Lana. You know, she's just trying to find her heart. She gets hurt physically and emotionally now. She, she's out with her, her hurt wrist. And she just had to sit here and watch Dolph Ziggler in plain sight walk out and hand this gift to Summer Rae. Absolutely, Rusev and Lana are the ones getting the most sympathy. And soon they will find each other once again, fall back in love, and go on a total wrecking streak as baby faces. God, that sounds fucking terrible. As baby faces? Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like a fucking soap. Well, WWE does like to consider themselves soap operas. Did you not hear that fucking soap opera-ish fucking promo video they had? Mm -hmm. One of the worst things they've done this year. Cast I have. Thank well, God. Lucky. <laughs> Dolph Ziggler is looking like a dick in this. And that's a shame, because he should have been getting some kind of a decent push out <laughs> And of not it. just because it was close. <laughs> or lack of. <laughs> Lana's in a weird position, though. As you mentioned, she's injured, so she can't compete in any way. That's one good positive that I gotta say about this is that puts the likelihood that they're gonna do the Lana and Summer Rae tussle on the outside thing very, very on the unlikely scale. I'm sick and tired of that. I don't wanna see that at all. I don't wanna see anything about this feud whatsoever, but that was my least favorite part about it. So at the very least, knowing that that's probably not gonna happen makes me a little bit more willing to accept this match, but this should have just been a mixed tag match at SummerSlam. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we all are in agreement. This feud needs to end. Yep. And we've talked about, you know, where would the Intercontinental title go from here? What would we do with a bunch of things like that? If you want Rusev to go as a babyface from here on out, what would you want to do with Ziggler, Peyton? Fire him. Really? Mm -hmm. You're that down on Ziggler? Dude, the guy's been there for like 10 years now. Yeah, but he's good. Is he? Yeah. I think he's, like, if not the best in-ring performer, definitely oh. in the top three. I can't remember the last, like, highly rated Dolph Ziggler match we watched. Maybe not necessarily the, you know, match of the year, but... Did, did he have one good match this year? I don't remember him having Name necessarily one, a bad one. One good match he had this year. Let me try to think about what feuds he had this year. Because he hasn't been having a good year. Because when, when, when you think about the standard good wrestlers this year, it's it's been John Cena, it's been Cesaro, it's been Kevin Owens. Dolph Ziggler ain't been anywhere near that list. Yeah, but you know what? He consistently performs at the same level compared to a lot of other people. Yeah, boring. <laughs> Sean, are you better uh, when it comes to Ziggler? Or are you not a fan of him either? I just leave him where you go then. Um, I'm, I'm agreeing 100% with Mike. 
I think he's just become overall lazy, and he's comfortable where he is on the pecking order, and I think he just needs to go. He just needs to go away for a couple of months, or a couple of years, find himself, and then come back. What is Nick Namath doing in the impact zone? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Just bang him into TNA. God, that'd be so terrible. At least then he'd be world champ. Wow. Yeah, but really, would you rather be world champ or would you rather be in WWE doing swerved? Uh, I think I'd rather be TNA world in the fucking goal, to be honest. Shit, at least when you do swerved, you get a paycheck for it. <laughs> Right. I, I don't know, I'm just down on Tulsa. I'm down on this entire feud. This is why I stopped watching Raw, if I, I'm honest, because this entire feud so, started taking over. It's like, every other segment was this. It's like, just fuck off. Leave me alone. I don't want to watch this shit. If I want to watch this shit, I'd watch EastEnders or some bullshit. <laughs> I don't know if you guys get EastEnders, but it's fucking terrible. I'm good. <laughs> Uh, it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not a romantic <laughs> comedy. It's, it's not a romantic <laughs> comedy. It's supposed to be fucking wrestling, and I'm watching some fucking chick flick. <laughs> I don't want to watch this shit. Something just sparked, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> fucking horseshit. I don't want to watch it. No, I'm done. I'm done with this fucking crap. God. Who do you think's winning, Sean Ziggler or Rusev? I tell you now, it's not the fucking fans. I'm going to say the referee wins this fucking match. Faden, who do you think is winning? Rus uh, Ziggler, Rusev, or the referee? Rusev. I'm going Ziggler. Just as basic, bland as you can get. I don't think there's any turns. I don't think Lana's going back with Rusev. I think this is just going to be, like, total filler. Ziggler and Lana beat Rusev. Summer Rae... I don't know, like, Rusev tells her to go fuck off like he did with Lana before, and then I don't know what the hell they have planned on this, because this has been dragged on way too long. And, and, and the thing is, we're going to get this feud at S Survivor Series, because one of them's going to be on one team, and the other one's going to be on the other fucking team. It's fucking bullshit. Maybe they'll move on to Intercontinental or something like that. You never know. <laughs> Chucked off Ziggler down at NXT, there you go. <laughs> Tony, it's fucking bullshit. Fuck this fucking feud. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> Continuing on in part five, we're going to talk about the Divas Championship. Stay tuned oh, for that one, everybody, because Nikki Bella and Charlotte are coming up next. Damn, fuck me.